guys welcome back to another Monday so if you're like me and you're like man it's 2021 and I've really got to clean up just a touch and then when I started cleaning up my ta table here I realized how many giblets I've actually accumulated just like recently like they just come from everywhere right so I had this um, newsprints on the bottom as my underpaper, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to create, I'm in the, I'm in the middle of creating several different journals right now, and I thought, what a perfect way to get rid of all of the giblets, and, um, you remember we did it on the brown paper bag that one time? Well, this time, I decided to incorporate, um, just by sticking collage um, elements all over this newsprint and then I'm going to add some additional layers and if you're like me and you seem to always be working on making a new journal and you also have lots of giblets laying around and if this is your first time visiting me giblets is what I call the small scrap pieces of paper that we just cannot throw away because they're freaking amazing so I decided to go ahead and just start gluing those about on this a newsprint which already had some really lush um coffee um i believe it was that had um you know showed up in my work and then spilled over onto the paper so i'm just going to randomly just glue all of these giblets all of the giblets and remember every corner doesn't have to be corner to corner doesn't have to have a piece of paper on it I'm just sporadically going to do it because then at the end what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tear the paper off and voila bada bing bada bing baby then you have some journal pages ready to go that you can just make your own masterful journal using all of those very fun and random pieces because it, it's really just mindless fun you don't have to really think about it you just have to glue and guess what it's a twofer you get a cleaned off desk because all your giblets is getting glued down and then secondly you get these fun fabulous pieces of uh, collage paper that you can either use as collage paper or you can actually put them in a signature and use them as a journal so you're winning at life already in 2021 so I hope you guys have had a beautiful start to your new year um, and I hope that you are thinking about how to fit art time into your into your daily activities. I tell you, when I decided to create every day, it really changed. I know it's it's like a I feel like everybody is saying like, oh, this changed my life. This changed my life. But it really did change my life. It changed a lot of things in my life when I started dedicating that designated time to art. And my husband knows when I go into the studio, just let me be because I may be there for a minute. I may be there a little bit longer, but it is my oasis. Just like he likes to watch football and I don't bother him, I feel the same way about my art studio. So if you see me in there, you know, I'm going to tune you out. You tune me out because I am in my zone. And the really fun thing about a project like this especially if you are um one of those you know you know what you are you overthinker uh-huh overthinkers if you're one of those people then this is a great way to really just free up that space in your mind get that the juice is flowing and kind of get um, all of those little giblets down because when you start, um, there's been several times when I've done this on just smaller pieces of paper and then a lot of times if you don't do any other steps on top of it, I am going to do steps on top of it today. But you can go back and peel those giblets off a lot of times if you're just using like regular um, glue stick and I'm not being extra cautious about getting it uh, very well stuck down. But I have done pages like this and then been able to go back and peel up um, 
parts and pieces or tear off parts and pieces that I want to use in um, my journal at that time. So that's also a way that you could use these up. But if you're like me, at some point, you've got to say, okay, enough's enough. I cannot have another giblet. I don't have any more room. I It's just overwhelming. They're taking over my desk. And then this is a great project uh, for that. And you may actually be quite surprised um, not even thinking about composition and stuff, just gluing that stuff down. You may be very surprised at how it ends up uh, being the really just awesome, um, especially when you start tearing them up and making those additional layers. Now, I had been keeping a piece of butterfly, um, like the negative space from a butterfly I cut out, and it has been on my desk. I couldn't tell you how long, and I kept thinking, oh, I'm going to find the perfect page for this, and then when I would think about it, I would it wouldn't be the right page, you know? And then when I'm not thinking about it, of course, that's when I could have really used it. But I said, I'm going to glue this baby down because I am tired of seeing it over in the corner of my desk, just junking it up. And then I also had this, um, I think I'm going to grab it in a minute. It's a hand. It's like the negative space of a hand. Um, it's actually the hand stamp from Tim Holtz. I don't know which set it is, but there's a, there's a hand. You're going to see it in just a second that I actually cut out. And I was like, this is perfect for that. And that little giblet right there has been around my studio for quite a while too. Just looking for the best place for it. And it was time for it to go and I like it where it sits right there and then I actually I can't remember if I was off camera or not but I found the other part of that <clears throat> butterfly and so I'm going to glue it down as well and here is that negative space of that hand I only salvaged part of it Tiffany, why do you keep this kind of stuff? Because you just never know when it is going to make the absolute most amazing part. That's why. That's why, Tiff. That's why you hold on to them. But sometimes, girlfriend, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. It's like stuff that you've had in your closet and you haven't worn in five years. I am not that kind of person. I do not hold on to clothes like that. If it does not fit, if it hasn't been on my body, it's got to go. I just got to turn it loose. That's why I really love capsule wardrobes. If you're not sure what that is, it's like, um, I think I have, the last I counted, I have 75 pieces of clothing, and that does not include sleepwear and underwear, but, and it doesn't include shoes, but when it comes to like pants, and all of that stuff I do 75 pieces and all of the pieces pretty much coordinate with one another and it allows me I started that last year and I've stuck with it um pretty good uh even through quarantine although a lot of times in quarantine um and I haven't really been um wearing like clothes like that I've been mostly in lounge clothes so I don't know if that counts but if you haven't looked up capsule wardrobes I highly recommend that you go and look that up because it could possibly save your cluttered closet um a lot now my closet is still messy but it doesn't have a lot of clothes that I don't wear so now I decided to go in here with a gel fluid gel matte medium and one of the reasons is because I was kind of just sticking it down. I wasn't really gluing, gluing. So I wanted to kind of protect the under paper, which was the newsprint. And newsprint is very porous and will soak up whatever layers go on top of it. So I'm going to give ourselves a barrier here. And you could also use um, like clear gesso or something. I think that would work really well as, as well. Um, and I'm just going in and getting all of those pieces of paper just nice and stuck down because we're not through with it yet. And I wanted the next layers not to really penetrate and go like soaked up through the newsprint. Um, I just wanted it to kind of chill on top 
and this is like a very thin plastic that will allow it to just sit on top just like a um, gesso would you could also gesso this but I kind of wanted to keep all the random bits showing this time last time I believe I did go over it with gesso but with this one I just wanted it to shine um, so I'm going to need to dry it very well and now I decided to come back with some gesso this is my chalky gesso i'm just going to pour it out on a little scrap piece of cardboard right here and then i'm also going to use tim holtz um these are his letters numbers tiffany not letters the numbers stencil that he has and i'm just going to go around all over the place not even using the whole stencil i'll realize here in a minute guys and i'll zoom out but not even using the whole stencil but just part of the stencil and what this is doing is just creating a little bit of interest it's also going to act as a resist if i decide to layer on top of this but again these are going to go in some of my journals so it's not imperative that i have a completed project and i think these types of projects are really awesome in the sense that you don't have to feel like you need to complete from beginning to end a page to be able to enjoy your um, creative nature. So I think a lot of times we put too much pressure on ourselves. Put too much pressure on ourselves just really trying to figure out and sit down and do an entire spread or an entire page from start to finish so projects like this allows you still to be able to be creative but not give you the pressure of saying oh i have to finish this to post on Instagram or whatever it is that you uh, put the pressure on yourself about. Now I'm going to go in with this other stencil that has like the circles. And I am really just randomly doing this all over this page, right? Because this is not going to be the focal. This will be the background to whomever and whatever gets layered on top of it. And that's cool with me. Now the gesso, again, is just going to create a little bit of a resist and a little bit of interest if the layers are added on top of it now the majority of uh, my journals I sell when I make them so whoever gets uh, you know a little piece or part of this paper can choose to do whatever they want to but um, it's got a really good foundation that will create a really cool page I think so uh, now it's about time for us to let this dry again drying in between the layers and then we're going to take um i'm taking a metal ruler um because i prefer to tear my pages versus um cut them because number one i can't tear straight and i can't i can't tear straight and i can't touch ugh. I can't tear straight and I can't cut straight either. So, you know, just just embrace it. Embrace that and let it go. And as you can see, I'm kind of moving it around to decide what parts and pieces that I want to be on a page. And I'm making them kind of big in case I decide that I want to trim it down. Or if I want to use, um, you know, like, for me, my journals have short pages, big pages, all the pages, mix, match. It doesn't matter to me. So, I've got them in a smaller, more workable um, kind of, uh, I was looking at that one. I was like, this thing's too big. So, I've got it in a more workable space and easier for me to kind of add some additional elements. So, one other thing that I wanted to do is I'm going to go in here. These are um, Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons and I'm just making some marks and scribbles and then adding water <clears throat> just to kind of let it see what it's going to happen and this is another this is like a peachy color and you can use any water soluble crayon you could use really anything you want to use that's close and handy and you feel led to use um i always like how these uh they run a little bit and so it makes that control factor takes it out because you really can't control it when you start mixing water with things there's 
not a whole lot you can do to control where it's going to go and what it's going to do. But that is the art that I like. The art that is free and fun and exciting. So I really hope that today's video has given you the courage to go in your studio and to make a big old mess. And you may just be surprised at how fun and awesome your pages are when you get through. Now what I also wanted to do was go in to use a little bit of coffee that I still had in uh, my cup. And I'm just using that uh, just to add a little bit of contrast and dark colors because you know if you watch my channel for any amount of time you know I talk about darks and lights and I felt like it needed a little bit of a little something something to just jazz it on up so if this is your first time joining me or you have been here a while but honey you have not hit that subscribe button now is a great time to give your girl a little love and go ahead and click the subscribe button turn the bell notification on so you can come hang out with me typically you get two I've started doing two videos a week um, a Monday video and a Wednesday video so I hope Hope that you have a blessed and beautiful 2021. Thank you so much for being here. If you would, go ahead and give me that thumbs up and a comment. And until next time, y'all, toodaloo!